Hey guys, today we are going to be using a Skeleton Army deck. Here is the composition that I have for this Skeleton Army so far. And as you can see, I have two dwarfs, two bombs, a statue, uh, skeletons, fortifies, arrows, two skeleton swarms, and of course the Black Witch. And this entire deck is basically based around the Black Witch's ability to turn everyone into skeletons. So that's why I have all of these sort of uh, area of effect clearing things like the arrows and the bombs. I tried using Inferno, but for some reason it wasn't very strong. It also doesn't really help. Well, I don't think I've Inferno upgraded at all. So it also doesn't help that I can only have one Black Witch. I can't have two, so I don't really get quite as many of them as I would, you know, I don't get to use that spell quite as often as I would like. But let's try this out anyway. I need to get the Black Witch out pretty quick. There we go, but uh, it still causes some problems here. Gotta get Fortify in there quickly. Gotta get it in quick. Okay. Um, got some bombs. I probably should have saved the bomb. I don't really know what I was doing. I'm getting a little bit too frantic. That Joker really needs. Uh, I'm gonna play another Black Witch out there because I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to hold them off as long as I can. They're dealing damage. I think I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> I tried. Definitely tried here. Oh, but I've got arrows right at the exact... Oh my gosh, no! No! Oh, man. Alright, so it would be slightly better if I had the Skull King in my deck here, but I made a few changes. I added in two genies, and because I really need more offense. I don't have enough offense in here. The skeletons alone don't seem to be enough offense. I had a lot of defensive things that were allowing me to prolong the matches, but I didn't have enough offensive... Uh, cards to use so we're gonna try this and see if the genie can just help me get a little bit more offense out there and I think it's still skeleton deck even with the genie so we'll see how this one works out all right so I'm gonna fortify up here in a solid starting position and I got some good opening moves um, another fortify Okay, they've got skeletons coming out here. I can just bomb those guys quickly and get them off the field. And see again, here's here's the genie popping out. And I've got some skeletons that are going to be close to ready soon. So let's get them going against those archers. And another genie coming up. And I can get that genie in here behind the other guys. And now I'm just waiting for a card. So, we'll have to see. Um. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? I'm going to wait here, and when that mage gets within range, I'm going to just pop him. Boom. Just pop the guy. And now I'm going to play this, the uh, Black Witch here. Easy stuff, yo. Got to protect the Black Witch, though. I didn't totally think about that, I guess. <laughs> that didn't work out so hot, but... We're sticking with it. And what's going to come up next? Another Black Witch. Seems like about time. Going to destroy those guys. Okay, they all go down. That's not a bad thing for me. Not a bad thing. Going to keep this match going here. As I said, these matches tend to be long with this particular deck. It gets long. <laughs> long and drawn out. Because I'm just, you know, my base is just beefed up. But their base is going to go down soon, so I just need to keep at it, seriously. Just keep at it. I'm trying to wait for the archers to get within range here. Once they're all within range, I'll just pop them all. And um, continue to fortify my deck here, because that's about all I can do. And I'm in a tricky spot. I'm trying to get some skulls out here. I need to get my other genie in about as fast as I possibly can. Oh my goodness, it's going to be close. It's going to be flipping close here to get the arrows in. Oh, that's clutch. Alright, I'm going to put out the skeletons because I think they can hold them off for a second or two. Get out the Black Witch here. 
take those guys out with a bomb. I'm still in this. Oh, yo. Oh, gosh. Gotta take that guy out. Gotta take him out. Gotta get the genie in fast. This is gonna be tight, guys. It's gonna be intense. Come on, take him out. Yes. Yes, gotta get the skeleton swarm in there. Oh, man, dude. They're still hanging in there. Oh, come on, yo. Oh, I gotta get him in. Oh, this is intense. Maybe I should play those guys in the other lane. I've got the genie I need, but I have to get him in fast. And I gotta get the fortify in too. Come on, no! Oh my god! No! How does that even happen? Oh, that came down to a last second decision right there. I should have fortified the second I could see it. Wow! Wow! That was so close. That was so close. Oh my gosh. Let's get a dwarf down first. They have castle level 4 as well. I don't think castle level really makes as much difference as some people are saying it does. Uh, just because you have cards like Fortify. So. Um, let's put this guy down. We're doing damage to them already. This is a pretty good start here. And I have a genie coming up and I'm going to be doing a lot more damage shortly here and this is really good i've got them on the ropes early on so i think i'm about to win this match i'm in good position to win it yes and i got it yeah and have two dwarfs going at it but i can get a genie lamp in the top lane doing some damage and let's see hmm i can play this genie behind that mage i think and um, we're just going to keep rolling here. I think we've got this match. We've got this, guys. We've got it. Yeah. Good game, buddy. Good game. There we go. So that's going to do it for this Skeleton Army special deck video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about this video. And if I should do more videos like this video. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos.